and the human stampede beats all. Most people come by train, few by car. It's pretty obvious why. The entry charge is a mere two dollars, probably the cheapest day out you can get in this country. And race books come free. Unlike many an Australian racetrack, the facilities here are designed for the paying customers as much as for the owners and members. Around the parade ring, the general public have the best seats in the house. The horses are out here a good 30 minutes before the race. There's no last minute rushing through of the favourite to beat the keen eye of the punters. Japanese bet an astonishing $25,000 million on the horses each year. 10% goes straight to the government and another 15% to the racing association. Even with those odds against them, punters were outlaying so much that in the 1960s the authorities restricted the forms of betting. Now you can only wager win, place or quinella and the horses are bracketed to reduce the odds. All the betting is on tote. Bookmakers are illegal. The nearest thing is the Spruker who sells his top secret tips for thirty dollars a time. When racing attendances started to fall a few years ago, the JRA decided the sport needed a complete change of image. It set out to attract young women and families by promoting it as a healthy, back-to-nature entertainment. The results have been spectacular. I've seen less information in some company balance sheets. You probably need a magnifying glass and the rest of the year to study this lot. But if you can't find what you want here, there are another dozen of these tipping guides to help you find the winner. There are winners and losers. But next week, next year, the punters will be back for more. Tokyo Racetrack will be ready for them. Its incinerators obliterate the unplaced favourites, consign the dud bets to the cleansing fires. A sight to warm any Australian's heart.